publishing, copywriting, and all of that great stuff and doing it electronically and otherwise. So, uh, Dr. Thompson. She has just, you have just enlightened us, and I think you lit a, bu I think you lit oh, yeah. a light bulb over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't have it written down, it didn't happen. That's what I'm You don't want to die, and they find all these manuscripts under your bed. Oh, Just go on and do it, and then you won't have regrets. They say people lay on their deathbed, and they don't regret what they did. They regret what they didn't do. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, yeah, and it's it. important. Just do it. So I've been, that's been on my you know, the, the show was one of the list on the list, the bucket list last year. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and so this year is uh, the professional speaking. And one of the things that Barbara Lindsay had told me was that you really need a product. And, and that yes. product is a book yes. so that when you leave and, and even for our workshops, yes. I mean, just imagine if you had your ebook yes. and that they purchased that book or yes. your, your even a little small book to go along with the manual mm -hmm. to go along with your workshops. That's what I'm then we can about. spend, you know, they're spending more money. Yeah. Right. And I think it's an excellent concept and an idea. So I am very pleased. And so like, let me ask this question. As a literary agent, what is your role in helping that writer or author get their book? What, what, is, what do you do? Well, you know, I've seen the industry shift now. But at my most active point, I was, it was like every day. Sometimes I would get eight book deals. But I started out, I didn't get any. But okay. I was persistent. I thought I heard what Gilbert said about being like a pit bull. <laughs> I, I just kept going. Then one day I looked up. I said, you know, I'm through with this. And then I got eight book deals in a week. And wow. I just saw it. And then it just started snowballing mm -hmm. like that. And people started getting in touch with me yeah. because of my radio yeah, show. Yeah. And also because of the ghost writing and uh content editing I was doing which I work with the story I'm a developmental editor where mm -hmm. I help you develop your f fiction story yeah so uh, I started getting more and more care but it's like being a real estate agent you know how they negotiate the mm -hmm. book is your liter you know your, the your property yeah, right yeah, yeah, intellectual yeah. property yeah. so think of a house but this is your house on paper <laughs> on paper yeah. and so I would pitch it to a publishing house. One of the it was five big publishing houses at the time, and they still have them. But you know they're constantly combining. It's yeah. Random House, uh, St. Martin's Press. A lot of them are combined now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Kensington, it's uh, combined with Random House now. I think it's part of the Penguin Group. Mm -hmm. And so we would I would pitch it to an editor, and you have to develop relationships with the editors at the big houses. And with me being in California, most of the people who make the best relationships are there in New York. They can go to lunch with them. But with the power of the Internet, I made relationships, and I met the people when we went to the Book Expo of America, mm -hmm. which was uh, in New York and Chicago. And it's been in L.A., so I've been all at three different places, so I met people that way. Mm -hmm. But that has been the part of my business that just kind of was serendipity. I wasn't trying to do it, and it just happened. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. And But it was really the editing has been my mainstay because I'm a good editor, and that That's made good. it good for me as an agent yeah. I could tell a good book and right. I could help fix it if it wasn't good that's so. great that's great that's now let good. me ask you this if someone an author any author comes along and say hey I've got a I've got some material here want to do a book and it's ready to go you blessed it edited it and everything and you said okay now let's go what would be the next step? Would it be to get it published first and then take it to Amazon or how do you do it I almost recommend that you go on and self-publish, uh -huh. and then if you build an audience, they come to you, then you're in control, yeah. and you can tell them. A lot of people where they've done that, and the publishers came to them. Mm -hmm. They were the light. I've heard Dave Banner say, you are the light, and that's what his God box is yeah, about. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the same for us as writers. They will come to you. Yes. So I recommend, because of the way the market is now, yes. only Michelle... Obama and President, former President Obama, Obama. get they're getting sixty million for their book. Deal. Oh yes, that doesn't happen all the time. So, <laughs> so you, you sell so that they're a sub celebrity and they already right. have a they have a big platform. Right, you know, exactly. he already had books that were selling after he became president. He made, I was looking at his tax statements, which we had, we can still see his tax statements, but we can't see <laughs> our current. Yeah. That's because number 45 <laughs> is under audit. 
Do we have a, do we have a call? Yeah, we have a caller. Our next guest is coming. So number five, his his is secretly in the audits place. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So th- our next guest is here. Our call is she. Call-